Okay, so after you have done the installation uh, for your Node and Salesforce CLI, what you need to do is open your command prompt. Uh, again, we have already followed the path that we have is you just need to search for command prompt. If you are in Windows or if you are in uh, Mac OS, then you need to use uh, uh, what we say this command space and then you can search for terminal there. So uh, then you need to install that even this this problem will not be there. Uh, the problem that we are trying to address that will not that should not be there in uh, no, uh, in Mac OS, but you can just follow the steps that we are trying to do over here. Okay, and then the very first step is what you need to do is you need to install the Python. Okay, so this is the command that that is there. I've already given you, which is npm install hyphen g in, indicates for the global globally installation, and then there is uh, Node GYP says that uh, this is something which is for Python. Okay. So hit enter, I've already done that, but if you hit enter, or if I hit enter, it is going to install the Python for me uh, inside my machine, inside my uh, uh, PC, and then it will be okay for me. So it will it will not take much time. You will see like found zero vulnerabilities. And if there is anything you might want it to, whatever you see, you don't need to worry about that. Anymore. You will just see the message like changed 94 packages and audited 95 packages or something. Uh, guys, please, if you're not speaking, be on mute. Okay, so and this is the first step that we have got, okay? And then this is the second step. So we just need to uh, run these two commands for now. And then the third command we will be running after uh, we are done with the introduction part of our uh, LWC, okay. So this is the second command which we which we are running. We are trying to run some Windows build tools. These are the tools that uh, that is very helpful for uh, installing the server, the server that we will be installing after installing Salesforce CLI. Okay. If you see something like this, if you uh, get some error, you don't need to worry about that. That's fine for us. We just need to make sure that we are running this command successfully. Sometimes these commands might take. Uh, command might take time uh, approx three to five or five to ten minutes so you don't need to worry about that just leave that command as open and that's what uh, i just wanted to run these two commands before we actually start the presentation this is the third command and that we will be running uh, after the presentation after uh, the introduction of lwc but what you have to do is to run this command you must need to have that sfdx installed into your pc so in the meantime we are uh, working on the introduction part of LWC, I'll suggest to please download and install that SFDX. Uh, in the meantime, we are talking about how in LWC was introduced and what was the, uh, what are the benefits of using LWC. Uh, Amit sir, actually I joined late, so I think I missed this part. Uh, these uh, these commands are related to which uh, which uh, or or uh, which time. Uh, we haven't actually uh, we haven't actually discussed why this uh, why we are running these commands we'll talk about uh, once we have created our first lightning web component okay, so so, so far uh, we have just ran the commands that's it i i ran the uh, ran the commands but it shows an uh, error means uh, the second command is showing the error the first command is not recognized as internal or external command Okay, for that you need to install Node.js. Okay. Okay, install Node.js. Uh, also install the Salesforce CLI. We will also see how to run these commands after the presentation or after created. We have created our LWC. So if anyone has missed that, uh, if you have missed this part, uh, need not to worry about that. We'll also cover it again. Okay, so uh, guys, today is the first session that we are going to talk about what is LWC. Okay, what, what exactly LWC, what are the autonomy of LWC? I'm oh, sorry, anatomy of LWC. And then uh, we will see uh, what you know, why the LWC was introduced. Mainly we are going to talk about what are the difference between Lightning Web Component as well as Aura Components. Then we are also going to talk about how to create our first Web Components. And then We'll also talk about what the component is structure, what all we can do with that particular component structure. Before this, the prerequisite was to uh, watch the previous video, the link that we have given over the Telegram group. And uh, 
uh, do the software setup, including the VS Code, Salesforce CLI, as well as uh, do the authentication with your Salesforce org and create a scratch org. So if you haven't watched that, uh, please do watch before you actually uh, do whatever we are going to do in this session. Although we are not going to uh, do much here, we are just going to create a very simple component and uh, see the outcome, that's it. So basically why LWC or let's say that what LWC is, why this was introduced by Salesforce. So again, like Aura components or any web, web framework, which can be a simple HTML5 or before HTML5, whatever uh, the languages that we have to develop the uh, web pages. So like Aura components, LWC is also a programming language. We can see that stack, a set of stacks that is used to uh, develop the lightning component. Or in simple term, we can say that lightning, com uh, lightning web component is used to develop the UI part inside Salesforce itself, uh, which is uh, nothing which is using the standard custom HTML templates. It can be standard or it can be custom HTML5 templates with the help of all the modern JavaScript, which is including uh, ECMAScript 6 plus uh, whatever the ECMAScripts are going to release after that. It is again a use, uh, UI framework, which is using all the web standards provide, uh, set by W3C, W3, uh, like Worldwide Consortium. It is going to use all the web standards. So when we say that it is uh, going to, or it is going to follow the, all the web standards sets, uh, set by W3C, uh, that means LWC will be supported by all the modern browser out there, which, uh, which might be Microsoft Edge or uh, Safari. It can be Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, or any other browser which is available there uh, in the market. So it is going to use the standard and custom elements, or we can say that uh, the standard or custom elements, these are the very important concept uh, that uh, LWC has. It also has the templates. We can define a particular set of template and we can reuse that template in multiple components. We can use the decorators, we will see. Then we can define our own modules. We can use the standard modules or custom modules provided by Salesforce. And then there is something called Shadow DOM, which is again a very important concept of Lightning Web Component. So this is a stack of our Lightning Web Component. That stack is also known as 2019 Web, uh, web Stack. The reason is that uh, why it is known as 2019 Web Stack because Lightning Web Component originally was introduced by Salesforce in February 2019. So uh, what Salesforce says that earlier, uh, before this Lightning Web Component, Salesforce has uh, one other programming language, which uh, we say that a framework, which was uh, which we were using to develop the Lightning Component. So before we actually go with this, let's quickly see what what were the difference between our, uh, like what were there in 2014 WebStack when the Lightning Aura Component was introduced and what is all we have for else or uh, we say that what all was there in 2019 web stack so if you see here the clear it clearly says that and there were more frameworks in 2014 uh, where we have introduced our lightning aura component and then in 2019 we have less frameworks so there are only three framework uh, which is uh, which are there in our lightning web component but if we talk about uh, lightning aura components there were multiple frameworks like data service which is also known as LDS, that is again a framework, UI components, they, uh, there were UI components that we have used, component models. Component models means that uh, we have got their own uh, component or we say that component structure, which was defined by Aura. And there was templates, rendering optimization was also there. You can also use custom modules, but in terms of uh, JS files like uh, static resources, or uh, you might write your uh, custom JavaScript, okay? language extension, uh, extension, which was like, uh, if you wanted to use some custom uh, solution inside Salesforce Lightning or a component, uh, then we were using language extensions like uh, we have some uh, application on top of AngularJS or ReactJS, then we were using this language extension. There were very few uh, frameworks like ECMAScript 5. This was the maximum framework for JavaScript, which was supported. Then there were events only few part of events were supported when we say that few part of events and that means only uh, javascript browser events were supported like on click or on double click on mouse over these kind of standard events were supported but we cannot use our own custom events in our 
or a component if we wanted to use the custom events uh, we must need to go with the events defined by or a component then there were standard elements standard elements like for our html which can be paragraph or h1 or a division tag these were the all html tags which were supported by lwc on the same on the other hand if you talk about 2019 web stack where the lightning web component was introduced we have got multiple frameworks and we have got very less uh, sorry we have got multiple web standards and we have got very less frameworks so uh, if you talk about frameworks there were only three frameworks security which is basically now it is earlier this was lightning data uh, lightning local services now it is lightning web uh, lightning secure lightning web component security services something like that then lightning data service is something which is going to uh, it is going to enable you to interact with salesforce data any custom or standard object you can create retrieve delete or view with the help of lds and then lightning web based components these base components uh, will enable you to create uh, multiple types of input uh, will let you to create the multiple uis these are also going to let you create the responsive layouts for your mobile tablets or even the bigger screens so these were the only three frameworks and then rest of you know, the all the things were part of your components your we say that web standards like web components now these web components uh, we are, we also had this aura then we have got web components which we are using uh, html5 valina concept like shadow dome they were using custom elements they were using templates so uh, rendering optimization and it is also uh, going to be very fast in terms of or we when we compare lwc versus aura so we've got templates templates were also as a part of uh, 2014 web stacks but those were not being used in such a i will say that capacity where we can improve the performance of our lightning web components sorry our lightning pages or uh, our lightning ui pages for templates we have got something which is again we will see what these templates are we can uh, create the templates we can re reuse those custom events so now we don't have the uh, certain process or we don't we are not bound to use a certain uh, mechanism in order to I use the events or in order to communicate between the components so here we have uh, the browser events those are the custom events which we will be uh, using all these uh, uh, all around whenever we, we wanted to communicate uh, between multiple components cider dome this was also the very uh, like we'll say that this was also very pain point when we were working with lightning aura components uh, the cider dome is uh, related to three main things uh, one like uh, one was related to css the other was related to dome things uh, dome uh, dome manipulation or dome access okay so there is a there is a separate lecture or we say that uh, there is a separate session where we will talk about what cider dome is and how it, uh, it is giving us the benefit okay but cider dome was like uh, you have got two components okay let's say that uh, let me try to put it here for you so that you have got two components okay uh, one parent and one child so whatever the css you apply on the parent component it was automatically taking to the child component so say that you have applied uh, css for h1 tag on the parent the same css will be applied on the child but that is not something most of the case we don't want this to happen okay so to prevent this the concept of set term came into the picture and that is already there in lwc so whatever the CSS you apply in the parent component, that will remain to the parent. It will not uh, get and it will not reflect with the child component. ECMAScript 7 is again a standard uh, set by JavaScript libraries. So we will see how it is going to uh, affect us. And then uh, custom events. And then we've got rendering. Uh, rendering engine was already there also. OK, so this was uh, like our uh, 2019 web stack, and that is no, uh, nothing that is equivalent to the lightning uh, web component stack. That is what we have talked about over here. That is what we have seen over here as a lightning web component 2019 web stack. OK. So when this uh, lightning uh, we'll say that when this lightning aura component was introduced way back in uh, 2014 at the same time there were multiple
so sorry guys for that uh, disturbance again okay. so when on uh, way back in 2014 when the aura was introduced right so at the same time there were multiple other frameworks which were introduced like angular and react and all these frameworks were missing some key elements for creating the ui components like these are the three main things which uh, which uh, all three elements were missing like shadow dom custom elements and custom templates so these were the main uh, three components which were missing uh, in all these uh, in all these uh, frameworks which were introduced uh, way back in 2014 or later on that but all these problems all three problems were already addressed in the component uh, framework which was developed or which was introduced in 2019 so why lwc is preferred okay we have all already talked about uh, multiple things we have already talked about okay uh, this is having all the web standards uh, set by w3c it is also uh, giving the uh, as the plenty number of uh, uh, we'll say that uh, better performance as compared to aura but now these are the things that we've got ecma script okay so these are the ecma script uh, so far which has been released okay like 6 7 8 and 9 all these are supported by our lwc then there is a concept of class in our if you are familiar with aura components there was a concept of helper and uh, controller in terms of javascript okay there was nothing as such classes but in our lwc there is there will be a whole uh, class for a particular web component okay there are modules which are defined by salesforce lds there are modules which we can define our own there are modules which you can access with the help of static resources promises again this uh, this is related to javascript we will talk about what these promises are decorators provided by salesforce like uh, at the red track api uh, and then there is uh, uh, one more uh, decorator which we have wire at the red wire web components custom elements shadow dom templates and slots the concept of slots is also very important that we will uh, see in the coming lectures now again this is just a comparison side by side for our aura component if you see on the bottom there is something called aura component on the left and on the right there is lightning web component so on the top 3 these are the frameworks okay these are the frameworks which are common in both the frameworks uh, in both the components or both the method methodologies we've got aura component which says that okay we've got security lightning data service and base lightning components which are already there then these were the custom component model which was again part of aura then we have got custom templates custom components rendering optimization custom modules and custom events these were all part of aura components and these were basically nothing these were the custom frameworks and the frameworks which were defined by aura methodology in our lwc these all are the standards set by w3c these are all uh, all the Our web standards, which are already supported by our Lightning Web components, that we have already discussed. In our Aura, there was only ECMAScript five which was supported, but in case of LWC, ECMAScript seven and all the ECMAScripts which will be released in coming years will be supported by LWC. And then again, these are uh, something which were common in both the uh, methodology Aura and Lightning Web components. That's why it says that okay, I have got into both the methodologies. So up to here, anyone have any questions so far? Uh, just one question. Like uh, on the Aura side, it says custom components, right? And on like a W side called web components. Like any of both are custom components only, right? Ah, uh, yeah. In Aura component, basically this is nothing. This was the custom, uh, we'll say, framework which was provided by some other company, which is uh, again a Aura. Okay. so what uh, lightning uh, whatever the components which you, you were developing is you were using another uh, methodology which was aura okay which was introduced by some other uh, we'll say that framework or some other company but when we talk about lwc these web components are basically nothing these are introduced or these are set by w3c which is uh, uh, we'll say that uh, worldwide uh, not worldwide web it is like Um, W3 consortium that we have got for the web standard setups. So Aura is okay. completely a different methodology, okay? Which was again running Lightning uh, is again a framework, and 
on top of that framework or was again running so frame uh, framework on top of another framework in here in case of uh, lightning is again a framework okay that's fine but we have everything we have got which is uh, set by uh, provided by w3c okay so we can say is it like uh, that lwc follows all principle of w3c while uh, ori is not uh, basically uh, in parallel to the uh, w3c um, principles right yeah it doesn't follow some uh, some of the com uh, like we'll say that some of the frameworks it does follow some of the principle it does follow not completely because okay. that is again developed by a third party entity uh, or we'll say that third party body oh, okay yeah thank you okay yeah any other questions so far no okay so we have talked about what lightning web component is what is the difference uh, between aura and lwc now let's talk about uh, what are the benefits even we have talked about why lwc is preferred okay but we'll also see what are the benefits so benefit is like the very uh, first benefit is like okay better performance uh, when we talk about better performance then as a developer or even as a tester if you see uh, you will see okay i have two pages okay uh, out of uh, two pages one page is having some aura component other page is having some lwc component you try to load that page and it looks like okay this is taking both are taking similar times uh, so we will not be able to just by uh, like whatever amount of time they are taking to load a particular page but if you uh, really wanted to compare the performance then you have to use console methods so console is a class inside the javascript uh, which is again provided by uh, our javascript libraries so you can use console methods to exactly find out how much time it is taking because it will always be the time difference will always be in uh, microseconds or milliseconds it will not be in seconds or minutes so that uh, that's what that is why we will not be able to uh, see in action in the real time but if you actually want as a developer you can use console methods to find out okay what time what, how much time it is taking modern web standards we've already talked about all the html5 vanilla components it is taking like shadow dam classes templates and custom elements compatible with aura components you can use your lightning web component inside aura but you cannot use aura inside lightning web component so again you need to remember this particular point it might be asked in the interview okay can we use aura inside lwc so if we wanted to use aura inside lwc then the answer is no but if we wanted to use lwc inside aura then answer is yes faster loading sites we have already talked about when we uh, when it comes to better performance that is uh, there is something uh, which is uh, how how fast it is going to load your particular components uh, or all the components which are there in the ui uh, you have got better security because now it is not using a third party framework framework this is uh, which is developed by a third party entity this is directly handled by salesforce and uh, uh, w3c better testing we can use lwc um, just to test our L, uh, our lwc then uh, we have got browser compatibility so all the browsers are supported in uh, in aura i remember uh, as uh, not exactly as internet explorer was not actually supported and even sometimes uh, this safari browser were also not supporting these aura components but now we have got every uh, modern browser which is out uh, out there is supported by lwc and lwc is supported by all the browsers and ease of development uh, i will not say ease of development because we have to do uh, set up uh, a lot of uh, softwares uh, we have to install some plugins um, but still that's fine we, we say that okay we, uh, you can easily develop you don't need to deploy the components to the org you can directly preview it and you see okay that's fine and then you can deploy it to salesforce org so that is what we uh, if we are looking at that point of view then again there is ease of development that that we can also take as a benefit now we have already talked about okay uh, you might all have uh, questions okay why we are running these commands okay so usually uh, i wanted to cover this part uh, at the end of the course but uh, 
this is uh, good to have at the starting of the course because uh, we don't want it to deploy the components into the Salesforce org, but we wanted to see the preview. Like uh, we developed some HTML file and we can easily preview them. Even there are online editors like W3 schools or some other schools. And there are editors, you can just go there, write the HTML and preview it uh, then and there, right? And then you can take the final outcome. So that is why we have got something called LWC local development in Salesforce. Okay, so this LWC local development is going to enable you to develop the LWC component. Okay, develop LWC component without deploying to Salesforce org. You can preview it. And even once you are previewing, you can create data inside Salesforce. You can read the data from Salesforce. You can view data. Okay, so basically, you could perform most of the DML that you can do there inside Salesforce org. Most of the things you can do with the help of LWC local development. So this is, again, this is uh, the preferable way that most of the developers do out there. They use this local development to preview the outcome. And once that uh, they find, okay, this is the final outcome that we want to get into Salesforce, then we can deploy it. There is another benefit of this local development is this is better, for, uh, this is faster than uh, actually deploying the code to Salesforce and then uh, refreshing the page. Sometimes the catch issue is there. So this is very good thing uh, to use local development for that. For this session, what we need is we need Node.js to be installed, Salesforce CLI to be installed. So I hope everyone is ready with these two software so far. Up to now, like everyone is ready with these two softwares. A anyone having trouble installing these two softwares so far? Uh, we can definitely troubleshoot them. Otherwise, we can go with uh, and running these commands again. I see only one thumbs up, which says okay. Everyone uh, is able to get it done. Okay, see Wang, see Wang is done. Okay, I'll just uh, read out the names. You can, you guys just can uh, give me okay. Okay, Mayank is also done. Uh, Sambit is done. Uh, Johan, are you done? Let's give me thumbs up. Okay, you're also done. Uh, Manish is also done. I think uh, Manan, are you done? Okay, Tonima is still uh, waiting. Tonima hasn't done. Uh, Tonima, are you just, uh, getting any error? Samit, uh, um, one doubt here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, since I'm working on MacBook, so I need to install Node.js and SFDX CLI, right? Uh, so if, you're in Mac, be if you're in MacBook, uh, I'm, I'm just giving you a command. You, you have already installed CLI, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just giving you a, uh, a command over the chat window. Can you try to running this and let me know what outcome you're actually getting? Because I haven't did set up this in the Mac window, uh, Mac so far. Okay. Uh, from the terminal, can you run this command and uh, tell me what outcome you're getting? Sure. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tonya, you were saying something? Uh, yes, it's still showing the NPM is not recognized as the internal. So I have already installed the uh, Node uh, Node.js. Okay, know. so you close this uh, close this command from before checking the version. No. Okay, just close this command from. Okay, just do one thing. Follow me. Close the command prompt. Okay, okay. done. Yes. Okay, then search for command prompt like this, and then open this run as administrator. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then uh, type, uh, say, okay, you are going to type, uh, what is that NPM? Okay, say that NPM hyphen hyphen version. There is a space between NPM and hyphen hyphen. Hit enter. Are you able to see uh, the node version now? Sorry, not NPM. Oh, yeah, you can say NPM or you can say yes. node. Yes, it's uh, 8.5.5, which shows the version oh, one. Fine. Yeah, so you've got the latest one. That's fine. Now, can you, um, okay. Now, I think everyone is uh, done with this uh, software installation. So guys, this is the first command that we have to do is, uh, the reason I'm trying uh, giving you to install this command, 
uh, or um, to run this command because uh, if we directly try to install uh, lwc local uh, development server sometimes we get the error most of the times uh, people get the error and there is no resolution out there in google okay you will not find the resolution so that's why just follow me what i'm saying is run this command which is npm install hyphen g node hyphen zyp zyp is for python okay so just go ahead and run this command and let me know the outcome uh, let me know once uh, you all are done with this command so you will see the message something uh, which will say uh, changed uh, some number of packages and audited some number of packages Yes, same message. Okay, good. So this is quite simple command. The next command is going to be complicated for everyone. Okay. So I'm just putting it over the chat window again. Just um, okay, copy it and paste it over here, and then hit enter. And this time uh, we'll see uh, what happens. If you are able to uh, like. complete this command that's fine so most of you will get the error okay but that's fine if you get the error that is fine you don't need to worry about that uh hi amit i have a query like uh, we are using the python like we are installing python so this uh, lwc local server like it it is using python as a compiling language or like it means why we are using the python that's what i want to know so basically if you directly try to install lwc local dev server okay you'll get some errors there are uh, plenty number of errors that you will get so in order to resolve those errors we are just trying to follow certain set of steps okay so like we are not going to use python in any way yeah. Now we are not going to use. Basically, that is just to resolve the issue. Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. Yep. So you see here, right? This is the complicated command that we will see. Uh, we have run the command, and this is stuck now. So if you wanted to uh, get rid of this, what you can do? You try to hit enter. It will uh, do nothing. You can just try to use Control C, okay? And then you will see a whole list of command over here. So uh, Can anyone uh, either? I think Sivang, you are trying to follow these steps. Are you able to do Control C and see this whole list of commands with the help of errors and some warnings deprecated? Anyone? I am getting errors. Yes, I am getting the same. The same thing, right? Yes. Just uh, just type Y and hit Enter. Everyone, just type Y and hit Enter. And this is the second command that we have to do. and then there is third command which requires our salesforce cli to be installed within salesforce so before we that everyone needs to check if the salesforce cli is installed or not for that the command is sfdx space hyphen hyphen version and the set enter it will give you both salesforce cli version as well as node js version okay and the third command that we need to run is which is there again on the chat window just copy and paste it over here hit enter so it will uh, try to poll something okay you will see some outcome like this it is going to poll for the new version if there are any available for our sfdx okay then it is going to install some sort of package.json and then it will it will actually install uh, salesforce lwc dev server okay and uh, there are four patch, uh, packages that it will try to install that's why it says that okay two of four that means one package was installed now it is trying to install the second and then third and then fourth uh, i'm getting an error says please restart this using powershell administration uh you or in mac can defense no in windows yes you need to basically use administrator so you just need to do is command prompt okay like this and then okay. use run as administrator so everyone please run all the commands as administrator 
Don't run those commands as a user. Because there will be some uh, permissions which will be required. So once we are running that command as an admin, uh, all the permissions will be given uh, or granted by default. So now you can see here, this is uh, what kind of outcome you will say it might take uh, less or more time depend on the internet speed that you have got. So anyone uh, is able to complete uh, the third step so far. Amit, I'm getting the error on Mac for the dev server failed. Okay, the dev server failed. Okay, then uh, can you try to use all three commands that we have seen? Okay, uh, just run the first command, which is uh, for installing GYP. Okay, and then uh, the second command, I don't think that's needed, but try to install the first and then th third command. And if you still get the error, just uh, uh, I I will see what I can do with the Mac because I have to. Uh, test this with the Mac and currently I don't have that machine with me. Also, with I tried to connect uh, on this meeting using my laptop, but uh, I'm getting the message that you are unable to join this meeting. Uh, you are unable to join this meeting because you were previously removed by the host. Did you join with the name? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was logged in with me. Yes, I did actually. I did remove. I had to check. So, or you can just uh, try to. I think uh, you can try tomorrow if you're not able to join uh, with the PC, then we can see. It. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. First so, command and... also failed. Yep, go ahead. First command also failed. Uh, what, what did you say? Access. I think the uh, Mac is not providing access to this one. Um, I don't have an idea about my book. Okay, uh, there is a, uh, uh, he says that, okay, write sudo before the command and it will uh, give super user access. He's saying, Rowan is saying that. I tried the last command and it says uh, that Salesforce LWT dev server failed. You are on Windows, right? Yes. Uh, what, yes. What, is the complete, what is the complete error? Uh, okay, just give me a second. I'll give you a complete error. Yeah. Yeah, it says first error, EPUM operation not permitted. And then it's given some local TXT file. And then it just says like installing plugin Salesforce LWC dev server failed. And the, the, this is just the only error, right? Uh, it's just quite big. Okay. Have you tried? Uh, have you given like um, tried running this command as an admin? Uh, just give me, okay. Let me try that also. Just give me a second. Yeah. Um, Amit, uh, so I am uh, stuck after the second step, second command. It's uh, the browser is uh, your your command is freezed, right? Uh, yes, it shows a warning deprecated. Mm, something like uh, over here, it is uh, Your command is stuck after this, right? Uh, yes, the second okay. command. Yeah, you just uh, just type control C. And then it will say something like this terminate bad job, either yes or no. So you just say yes. And control then control C. Type yeah. control C. Yep, you need to um, basically not, you don't need to type, you need to use the SART key control C. So control C is basically used for uh, quitting any operation which is running in the command window.
it did not show any y or uh, n okay mm. okay what if what could be the issue is cursor is blink but uh, unable to okay, type after again okay, after the cursor is blink you just need to use control c don't don't type just say control c together yes now it's working okay and then uh, it the outcome should like uh, outcome will uh, look like this right yes yes okay then try to run this uh, again so anyone is able to perform these steps uh amit i am able to do it completely now in okay in windows you use uh, sorry in mac you have used sudo before that right yes okay so manan and rohan are done yes sir anyone else is co has completed sivang or manish mayank or sambit and not yet okay any issues that you guys are having we while running with admin it seems like it got stuck yeah it will it's the second time the second, the second one, right yes you yeah, just wait for uh, 30 seconds okay and then okay. Uh, do some follow the same thing uh, that uh, i've just told to tony man just use control sure. c okay sure. Sure. and then you will see the uh, say that uh, input like this terminate and say yes and then okay. uh, you will see like the whole path over here and then try to run the third command which is out there in the chat window so i'm just putting okay, okay. So, this... so directly i need to run third command Yes. Once you quit the second command, then you need to run third. So basically, step by step. Okay. First, run this uh, installing this GYP. Then yes. uh, install. If you are in Windows, then use this window tools. Yes. And then uh, in Mac, um, sorry. Then the third step. So again, I'm just putting in the chat window. This will be very handy and useful for uh, you guys. Uh, just uh, keep it with you. I think we can wait for a couple of more minutes to see if anyone uh, succeeded with this installation. And if you guys are uh, not able to get this, okay, you don't need to worry about that, mm -hmm. because if you see point number four, even I tried, uh, I got it working after. Two three attempts. So basically, I installed these. I followed these steps two three times. Then I got it working. So if you if you are in Windows, you're not able to get it. Uh, need not to worry about that. Okay. There is a message says okay. Uh, window tools uh, npm warning instead is this. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This is what you will get as a part of second command. Just say Control C. Use Control C. and then uh, it will ask you yeah, to quit uh, uh, yeah i'm pressing control c but it's nothing yeah, yeah okay. make sure so, your cursor is blinking if not then you need to um, go to your command prompt and then uh, hit anywhere in the command prompt and then use control c okay actually by mistake i typed like twice i press control c so instead of y it entered control c No, yeah, it doesn't. If you type it twice, no, it will. Do I need to again run the? No, that's fine. You can do run I need the to again command. run the second then. Okay. Yeah. Anyone who was able to install or run this third command successfully? Actually, I mean, my CLI is updating, so it is taking some time. Ah, uh, is it updating like by default, or you try to update it? Actually, first time I tried to run that one, so it was showing error and it was showing a warning. So, like warning as to update. So I thought of like again I will update and I will try that command again, last command. Okay, okay. And basically, updating some CLI is hectic. If you update, it takes right. much time. Yeah, actually, one fifty two MB it is taking a lot of time. Yeah, but that's fine. No worries. Sivang, is space is so busy now. I will, uh, I will solve after this call. Okay. 
admin. So make sure you come. Uh, your command is run by uh, okay, as an okay. administrator. And try to follow these commands again. Okay. Sure, sure. And if you still get the error, then please do let me know. Okay, man. Yeah. So uh, guys, please follow these steps. If you're not able to uh, get it done. Uh, please let me know before the session may start uh, tomorrow okay i'll just uh, for now i'll just move ahead and because there is uh, one thing that we need to have okay uh, keep get this card yep so we have so far we have just installed the server which is lightning dev server okay which is lwc local dev server so that we can preview our component locally we don't need to deploy it if anyone is not able to set it up and getting error need not to be panicked okay don't panic we will see how to preview the component in the salesforce org itself so if everyone will be able to set up dev server then we will use local dev server for the preview of the component otherwise in tomorrow's session first thing we will do how to preview this and then we'll forward with the other things okay so need not to worry and don't don't panic now let's talk about how we can create our first web component and before we create let's talk about what are the rules to have a particular name basically what this web component will look like is there will be a parent folder okay for every uh, parent folder this is going to be your component whatever the name you will give as a component and every parent folder will have some files over here there are three files which will be mandatory html file which is going to give you the ui part then javascript file you know, to have some business logic some server side logics then there will be a meta file which will be very useful for uh, telling the system where i need to use this particular component then there will be some additional uh, files like css svg as well that we can also use and then you can also have folders inside folder as well okay so that is again we will see basically uh, this in picture but so far i'm just telling you that that is how you are going to be your lws is going to be okay as we said okay this lws is going to have a folder so we are going to talk about the naming convention of this folder how you are going to name the folder okay so your component must be begin with the lower case okay so if you are creating a component say that you are trying to create a component which is going to uh, display the opportunity table so the component you will say opportunity table where o is going o will always be in the uh, a small letter if you uh, make it as capital letter there is not going to be any error your component will be deployed but there are certain uh, things uh, certain issues that that might occur if you wanted to use that component inside a different component then uh, must contain only alphanumeric or underscore characters so you can use uh, alphanumeric say that 1 2 3 Uh, you can use underscores but you cannot use a special characters like dollar or pound sign then it must be unique so every uh, lightning web component must be unique inside a single name space okay so if you are creating your component so you cannot have two component with the same name cannot include white spaces cannot end with an underscore okay cannot contain two consecutive underscores and cannot contains a hyphen which is dash so these are the uh, certain rules whenever you are trying to create your lightning web component whenever you are trying to create a folder for your lightning web component someone was trying to speak uh, you can uh, feel free to speak up so here it is uh, you see this is basically uh, the component structure okay this is the folder name which is that my component this is going to be folder name and now because this my component is the folder all files will start with my component okay so it will say my component.html 
my component dot js my component dot js hyphen major dot xml css and svg so these are the five main files but when you create lightning web component by default there will be only these three files okay dot html js and meta file if you want to add these two additional files please feel free to add this but again this this should be the naming convention the folder name dot css folder name dot svg if you are adding these two files make sure there is something inside the file if you add the css you must need to add at least one style css over there if you don't add you will get the error while deploying the component similar things with svg if you don't add anything inside your svg you will get the error svg is used for creating the custom icons for your lightning web components we will see how to use this svg and how useful this svg is okay and we will also see how easily we can create svg because svg requires the high level knowledge of our not a high level it requires deep knowledge of our uh, canvas as well as xml structures so we don't need to worry about that we will have a, a tool by with the help of that tool we are going to create the svgs okay and this will uh, this will be the questions that everyone need to ask to yourself and uh, see if you are able to answer these questions but before we actually get in over here in the questions uh, we will get back over here uh, into the vs code okay i already have this vs code set up you already have the video in that video you have seen okay how to set up vs code how to set up all the softwares which are required including the uh, vs code extensions so we will uh, i i will um, like i'll just assume that everyone was able to set up and if you are not able to set up you will be able to set up it before tomorrow's call and uh, this is how your component will be there okay you are already you have already been authorized to salesforce org you have already created the scratch org so uh, after that i'll just assume what we need to do is we need to create the component so to create the component there are two ways that you can do is one is you can write the whole command that you need to remember the other is that you can use the help uh, you can take the help of your component uh, your extension the one extension is the first extension is salesforce uh, extension lightning extensions that we have already installed there is one more extension which is lwc builder that we are going to install it right away okay so to install the lwc builder you just need to search for lwc builder okay and the first link that you will get and just i'll just share it over the chat window so that everyone can have access to this okay uh, just go to this uh, github site okay then go to this generated assets folder and this is the latest one which is 0.1.6 open this and then you just need to click on download so i have just downloaded this okay this is a vsix file that we have just downloaded now to install this what you need to do is just go to this extensions tabs you will have this extensions in your vs code click on this three dots and then click on uh, select this install from vsix and then you just need to go to downloads wherever you have downloaded and i can see there is a file called lwc builder or whatever i have just downloaded i'll click on install so it will take time and it will just give us okay says that uh, lwc builder is installed please reload vs code to enable it uh, that needs not to be reloaded sometimes you need to reload it but how you will uh, get to know that if the vsix uh, lwc builder was installed or not for that you just need to use this uh, gear icon and use command uh, command palette you can see it says that control shift p these are the hot keys that we can use the combination of three keys control shift p if we directly use that control shift p the command palette will be opened over here and then you will see all the commands over here related to your salesforce cli with the help of or with uh, see that prefix as sfdx colon otherwise Uh, we wanted to check for the lwc builder so we'll say that lwc builder 
So this is the command. If this command is present, that means LWC Builder was successfully installed. You don't need to worry about that. Don't need to reload the VS Code. If this command is not present, you need to reload the VS Code. And then uh, select this. It is going to open this particular VS Code. OK, sorry, not VS Code. This is going to open an interface. And this interface was developed with the help of Lightning Web Component again. So I'll give the name of my component is my component. What is the version? Which is 52? Or do I need to expose this component? We are going to completely ignore this checkbox and we will say that, no, I don't want to expose. Master label is that fine description. What all files you want? HTML, CSS, do you want test file? You can check that. Let's check it. Do you want SVG file? If you select this, it will ask you to upload an SVG image. So for now, we'll just skip it. And we don't need to worry about the other things we'll talk about later on. And we will create it. So as soon as you have created, you will see there is a folder inside LWC. Well, this LWC first was something which I developed. This is a folder. Whatever the name you have given my component, this is the topmost folder. Okay. These are the files which has been created. And these are the three files which are very important. The CSS file, which is optional. If you don't want to create, you can just go ahead and get rid of this file, say that delete. But if you have this CSS file, there must be CSS even like this, you can have something, whatever the syntax, it should have, it should be having some syntax over here. You might want it to have something called body or something. Okay. If you don't have something, it is going to give you the error at the time of deployment. So make sure that there is something. Now this test folder is something which is again for testing LWC. We will talk about later on. As we talked about, we can have other HTML files. We can have other JavaScript files as well under the same folder. So if I wanted to create a JavaScript or HTML file, I will say that file.html. And now as I have created an HTML file, it must tell that, okay, this is a test template that I'm defining, okay? It could be having anything. If you wanted to have some JavaScript file, you can also have JavaScript file. You can have one more HTML file. You can have folder as well. So if you want, I can have folder, let's say that, uh, so that I have something called headers folder. Okay. And under the headers, I can have a file called header.html. And then again, if it is HTML file, again, I must need to tell that, okay, this is going to be the template. So every HTML must be, sorry, every LWC must start with template and must close with template. Because that's what we say that Lightning Web Component is a web component, which is going to use the concept of custom templates. So these are nothing. These are the custom templates and the templates. We can have multiple uh, our own code, which is related to your uh, HTML, or even you can have custom templates under this particular template as well. We will see when to use those templates. So this is uh, we can have as a part of very first component. Now, if you notice there in the JavaScript on the first line, there is something called import lightning element LWC. So this lightning element is going to tell the system to Salesforce, okay, this is going to be lightning web component. And this lightning element is coming from our LWC module. So this is a module. This is a class which we are importing. Okay. And every component will have its own default class. So you say that it says that export default class, the name of your component, which is my component, it will always be capitalized extends. This is the class, which is lightning element. Under this particular class, you will have variables that we will talk about in the coming videos. And then there is something HTML. So you see, this is, there is uh, one HTML with H1 tag. And I will just use uh, some sort keys to generate the code. I'll let you know what I did and uh, from where I got this. But for now, this is just a very simple thing. Okay. I just have some uh, sort of code that I have got it. Or if I want to have some templates or say that here, my component say that, uh, welcome to LWC, okay? Now we have got this. Now, after we have just developed our first component, there are two things. Either I can deploy it to Salesforce 
or I can just use LWC local dev to see how it is going to look like to see the preview. Okay. So to see the preview, I'm going to just use right click and say SFDX preview component locally. So if you guys were able to set up or you were able to successfully execute those three commands, then this particular option will work. If not, even after this command will be available there, you will not be able to see the outcome. So it, it is saying what you wanted to use Android emulator, iOS simulator or browser. So I'll say, I just wanted to use browser. Okay. So it has, uh, it didn't showed over here. It uh, actually, what it uh, usually do is it try to connect with your Salesforce org, try to make some changes, uh, do some, uh, create some proxies, take some time because I already have uh, started that server. That's why it's not taking any time and it is just taking me to the component. Okay, so that local host, double three, double three is the uh, port number. If you wanted to go to home, just select home. And this home, you will see all the components which are there, you have developed under that particular project. So you see there is something called LWC first, which is my first component. And then there is something called my component, which is like this, you see over here. And it is also going to give you the uh, URL, which component it is previewing and how it is going to look like. So you see every single thing is perfectly working fine for us. If we as a developer think, okay, this is fine, then we can deploy it to Salesforce all. So I'll just uh, leave it to you guys to try to install those commands so that we actually don't need to deploy to Salesforce again and again. Otherwise, you'll also see how you can deploy this to Salesforce. Okay. And I will show you how to deploy it, but I will not show you how to preview it for now. So if you wanted to deploy it again to use this, say that, okay, use command prompt control shift P or command shift P for Mac OS. And then here you need to search for deploy. Okay. Uh, SFDX colon deploy. No, it's not, not deploy. It is basically push. Okay. Instead of deploy, you need to push. And this is the first command that you need to use because we want it to push to a scratch org. So we will use push source to default scratch org. And we were, we are going to say, okay, select that command. And it is going to run or uh, deploy this code to Salesforce org. And it will tell us if there is any error. If not, then it is also going to tell us that it was successfully deployed. Any questions so far? No. Everyone is okay? Okay, guys. So this is what we had to cover. We had to cover today's session. Now these are the questions. Please read out these questions. Ask yourself: Is this something you can answer? If not, please let me know. We can discuss that. Anyone? Only fourth question I'm not able to answer. Okay. Anyone else having any doubts so far? So basically this fourth question is what is top most element in LWC, which is template. So I have okay, Sonia, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Template should be always there. So that is the top most element template. Okay. Sixth and seventh point. Okay, so yes, we can create. I think you might have missed that that one. So we can create extra JS file. We can create extra HTML files. Even we can create the folders and inside folders we can create 
uh, HTML or JS files. Okay. Uh, yep. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, what was the answer for the fourth one? It is template. So basically, uh, every LWC HTML file will have template as a topmost file. Okay. Yep. So I think uh, as no one have any questions for today, we can wrap it up. <coughs> if anyone have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to me or the chat window or the telegram. And also please run those commands and try to complete those commands by um, before tomorrow's session. <coughs>